my car right back at the library and now I'm going to scout out the area on a reconnaissance for a bathroom. Uh, the gas station could be it, but I'd rather do a public restroom. One could be in that train park. Oh yeah, there's bathrooms, so they're definitely going to lock those. Let's see if they post the time. Espresso. That's actually across the road from the library. So I could get water from them. I have to wonder where they pee. I think they might have something inside their building or they just hold it. Wow, there's a lot of rusty stuff off in that distance. This building is closed down. Constructing something. Another gas station. Oh, must be the police station over there. Oh, all right. City Hall with its bear statues. Beer Bauer Park. They caged that train up too much. Dedicated to, to Mayor Bierbauer. But people liked his name. Big old winches. It's supposed to rain soon. I just want to play around with recording before it really gets bad. Steam Donkey. Oh, and an old fire truck, most likely. Painted red. Isn't it? Yup, there's the hose. Alright. Yeah, I saw the softball park on the map, but I didn't see the steam power stuff. Had that be even be red? Let's see if I can... Alright. So, got steam-powered trains that rusted through completely. And we've got some modern wood to try to make it look like old-style planks. Lindsay Baum's missing, huh? We got a website. Find Lindsay Baum. Oh, there's another sign for Lindsay Baum. Somebody had quite a um, a budget for locating her. Yeah, hopefully they're successful. I didn't see any Lindsay Baum signs in in Elma. She can't possibly still be in McCleary.
Okay, so yeah, that's that's the bathroom up ahead. I saw kids riding around, so they most likely locked this at un at unfair times. Okay, so just walking away from the park, there's a city hall. There's some rowdy people at the bus stop yelling at each other. Somebody inside making noise. Chopping down an old electric pole. Huh. Everybody likes that number 12. So many places with it up. Alright, just returning back to the car. So it looks like the McCleary Food Bank is located in the softball park just on the ed end of uh, the, the town, right next, right across the street from the, the city hall. Pretty easy to find. Kind of has you know, only two times a month it's open. Just catch it at the right time. It's have to see. Uh, it's actually to be open this this Monday. In the, in a couple of days so I'm gonna try to find out what they have all right 7 a.m. it's a little dark and gray out at 7 a.m. at the end of town or the downtown and I'm gonna be walking into some neighborhoods to see how they live just get a snapshots of everything oh okay <laughs> wow uh, it's a big parking lot <laughs> I was wondering I, I didn't see much for parking on around the park wow that that's a lot it's a long a long parking lot man I just stepped in some nasty dirt wow okay plenty of room for for the games, for for the spectators, and and then in surrounding neighborhoods, I gotta be careful about the rain. <clears throat> Gas stations on the ends, huh? I probably could park in this lot. Well, I don't, not right now though. It's, prefer parking next to the library. So you can see the puddles are filling up with more water. Apparently, Olympia is one of the rainiest cities. And I'm not too far from Olympia. 
that Olympic mountain rain shadow doesn't reach over here. Mumpson Road? Hmm. So it's really dark and gray. And First Street. It's pretty quiet. Oh, there's this factory with all these weird tubes off in the distance I'd like to check out. But, uh, yeah. Looks like a middle class type of family. Family uh, neighborhood. Taking a peek at this uh, house. It doesn't really look like anybody's living here. Look at that, the overgrowth. There's a car in the in the garage, but that doesn't matter. The, the person's not really like um, active here. Protected by angels. Yeah, look at that. There's water bottle things. Maybe a pee jug or something. Nobody's walking through here. Is this a pear tree? Oh, oh God. They got a pear tree back here. With pears. And I don't... I read that they don't ripen until they're picked. Yeah, that's hard as a rock. They gotta be picked before they ripen. So yeah, I think this is an abandoned home. It hasn't been identified as such. Is that another? That's a... That is not a pear tree. That's a... That's one of those figs. Is this a fig tree? They're not... Oh my goodness. I think it's... I think this is ready to eat. I'm going to take a bite. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. This fig tree has... Well, I'm going to stick with that first bite. In case I get sick. This is certainly an abandoned home. Unknown how long. But with that car in the garage, it really looks like somebody's just active here. But you look at the grass, 5 2016, that means it's expired. Oh wait, no, that's for next year. I don't get it, that's strange. I think I might want to come back for their figs. I'm hearing roosters and some kind of a songbird. <laughs> Songbird, I believe, is indoors, while the rooster is outdoors. Man, that fig was g g pretty good. I don't think that's going to get me sick. It looked healthy and everything. There's a few more where that came from, too. And I don't think anybody's grabbing them. Because the house looks occupied. Strange. All right, so we've reached the end of County Road. There's a rooster off in the distance. End of County Road. So we got some signs to read. A missing children. Lindsay Baum's been missing since 2009, and she is heavily advertised. Two McClary residents walking out of a gated road on the East Cedar by water towers and observed an adult cougar 30 feet south of this point, April 18th, and is that this year? So they're, they're whoa, what? Mountain Lion Habitat. So they're, they're saying that there's some big cats. 
living around here. <clears throat> so that's that's the forest. All right, so I'm not sure where this goes, but I, I mean, and this is past the mountain lion warning sign. Oh, somebody's got a sign on the tree. I wonder what they have to say. Because it, it's not clear if this is private land. Video surveillance in use. All right. All ATV riders will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law for trespass on the tree farm. Okay. So they don't like four-wheelers. Huh. Yeah, it does look a bit like a tree farm. I always hear more noises when it rains. Alright, so I'm at some kind of intersection for this tree farm. And I think I'd like to look at the map to see where the trails can lead. I don't want to journey into unknown, t too deep into unknown territory here. It looks neat. A lot of uh, nice a lot of nice tree canopy around here. <clears throat> a lot more to look at. Okay, after coming back here, I'm grabbing another fig. These things are crazy delicious. They're actually so sweet. They hurt my teeth. See, this thing is broken. You can just you can just bite the skin and everything. This is this is delicious. It's still edible. Nothing has gotten into it either. It's just so ripe that it's broken. So, and here I climb into the top of this hill. It's getting a little bit better view. Kind of get a view of the city. Whew. A little tired. It looks nice up here. Hmm, this must be a business of some kind. There's a sign over here. I kind of smell a skunk. All salal berries. All edible too. Perfectly edible salal berries. I had my my bucket, I could harvest some. At the healthcare district. I can't ask for anything more than salal berries. Well cared for at the healthcare. See a teepee in somebody's yard. Hmm. That's an interesting approach to living. First and pine. See that mechanical structure in the back ground. <clears throat> P 
people just seem to be living a relaxed kind of lifestyle. Oh. There's a weird burning smell and it's very subtle but it's given me a, a different queasy feeling in my head. Not liking it. Gas is 275. I don't believe that the, uh, what I ate is causing any problems. At the bus station. Right next to a church. That's pretty convenient. If I can get these rules. This is this is kind of entertaining. I can't quite get them. The shade is, or the light, I mean, read it for later. All right, here's uh, the, the factory I've seen a little bit, uh, next to the Select Market grocery store. I'd like to see more uh, around this pipe thing. It's, it's pretty intricate. Oh, it's a little bunny. I bet it can... What's the matter with it? It wants to go through that fence. It looks like it should be able to fit. I want to walk around that more. Alright, just coming out of the bathroom. Oh, turn off the light. As I wait for the library to open, I'm just kind of looking around here. You see there's uh, the post office, which is this building right next to the, the library. So this is the library, this is the post office, that's the grocery store up there. I guess that's a, some kind of U-Haul uh, place, because there's several trailers and trucks. And back behind me, it's not easy to see. Mechanic shop, I'd call it. Somebody, an older lady lives right next to the library. She has a shaky hand. But today's a rainy day and just waiting for the library to open.